These are some of my favorite videos to watch because I am so curious as to what is on other people's phones. So, let's get into what is on my phone. So I have the iPhone 6. It's honestly not as big as people make it out to be like, oh my god, it's a mini iPad. Honestly, you get so used to it and I'm so in love with my phone. Like, I love the size of it. It just looks so much more crisp. And obviously it's not a necessity, like you don't need the best phone like the newest phone but it is so nice and I'm so grateful to have it so I have just the silver and black one my case is just a clear one simply because I like to see the back of my phone and if I could use my phone without a case I would but I'm just too scared and I drop my phone too much my phone background is a picture of me and my niece Charlie and I've had this picture on here since probably like November or something so when you open my phone the background that I have now is just the Apple background. I'm just going to show you guys my favorite apps on here because I don't want to go through every single one because some of them are boring like calendar and stuff like that. The one that I use probably the most is my Maps app and I use it because of the GPS obviously. I would be nowhere without this app. It gets me literally everywhere because I have no sense of direction. The next app is the Shazam app and I use this all the time especially being a YouTuber that uses music for the background and stuff. Uh, I will be driving and be like, what is that song? It's a perfect song for a video. And all you have to do is press this button right here and it will listen to the music that is playing and identify the song, which is really cool. Next, you have Vine, and I don't really make Vines that much, but I love watching other people's Vines, and I'm constantly on there liking or favoriting or whatever it is, other people's Vines. So if you guys want to know my sense of humor or just like, want to go through my favorited vines then my link will be down below I don't really remember it off the top of my head so yeah I'm on that app a lot the next one is obviously YouTube which is just YouTube in app form the one next to it is YouTube Creator Studio which is perfect for YouTubers like me and if you guys make videos I highly suggest this app because it is amazing it will just tell you all of your video views for the month it's also really easy to comment back to you guys on here instead of going through the regular YouTube app all of your comments show up here and I can just quickly reply to you guys I don't really use Pandora that much anymore or Afterlight Snapchat is one of my favorite apps I do have a public one but I don't really use it that often but for my private one, I use it all the time for my friends, so I love watching other people's stories, what they're up to. I don't really post too much. The next one is Tumblr, and I'm obsessed with Tumblr. You will always see me on this app. No matter where I am, if I am bored, I will be on Tumblr. My Tumblr link will be down below, and you guys can follow me on there. Viewer discretion, I just reblog whatever I like so if you guys get offended by anything then you don't have to follow me or anything like that. At the bottom here, the bottom four are just the four apps that I use the most which is messages, phone, twitter, and instagram. You guys can follow me on twitter which is at Kenzie Taylor B. I just recently changed my twitter name. Hopefully it's easier for you guys to find me um, but I just I tweet relatable quirky things I think. Maybe not. And then my Instagram is again Kenzie Taylor B, and I follow a lot of you guys back on there. And yeah, I just like Instagram. I think that I am a big Instagram person. So in this first folder, this is the extras folder. I just have just a bunch of random stuff I never really use. And yes, that is Tinder. Um, I just go on there for pure entertainment just to see other people and I just do that with my friends also the app kayak is really helpful because I travel a lot and that gives you the best like airfare and hotel deals and stuff like that the next folder is the miscellaneous folder and I don't really use anything in here maybe like my PayPal but if you swipe left and Wattpad and Wattpad is probably one of my favorite apps on my phone and my iPad I'm constantly reading a lot of people don't know that I read a lot and it's because I do read on my phone and my iPad through this app and these are some of my favorite books that I've been reading lately and probably my favorite is the must date the playboy series if you guys have read that by not just a random girl I love that series and I just see that she posted a new chapter so I'm really excited to read that the next app is the lifestyle 
Cartwheel app and I have three of my favorite apps on here. I have Pinterest, Cartwheel, and Toby and I use these apps religiously. The app that I use to uh, edit my Instagrams is Instasize just because it gives you that really nice white border and it's kind of like a continuity thing so I always use that. I have like Sigalert which is amazing if you live in LA because it just gives you traffic warnings and stuff like that. The next folder is the entertainment one and this just has a bunch of like channel network apps that I use and Netflix and stuff and also food apps which is really cool and trivia crack is hidden because I don't like playing it because it makes me very frustrated at myself. And then I have Yik Yak, which is always fun if you live in like a college town and you can see what people are posting and people are hilarious on there. Uber is an amazing app, especially if you're in a bind because Uber, if you guys live under a rock, is a driving service where you can just pretty much just ask to be picked up and dropped off somewhere and it's amazing. I have a guitar tuning app because me and Shelby were trying to learn how to play guitar and it didn't last very long, but it was fun while it lasted. Spotify. I use Spotify constantly. You guys can follow my Spotify down below. I don't know if it'll work because I've tried this before and it didn't work. But um, yeah, you guys can just follow my playlist and I am constantly adding new songs. And then the last one is Feature Points. I mentioned this in my last video. I'm not sponsored by this. A lot of people uh, think I am because I talk about it a lot, but I'm definitely not. I just really like the app, but I know I have a younger audience and you guys can't really get jobs yet because you're younger or you don't have time. Feature Points is awesome because you can go ahead and pretty much review apps. You don't even have to like write a review, you just kind of play them. And they give you points and those points can go towards Starbucks or Amazon or PayPal. So yeah, that is what's on my phone. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe, like this video. Comment down below what your favorite app is because I'm constantly downloading new apps. I'd love to know what your favorite one is. So I will see you guys next video. Bye!